Well, hello. Today we're going to be doing lesson three and eleven hundredths on tenths and hundredths of a meter this time. So let's talk about why are we doing tenths and hundredths of a meter? Why all of a sudden has that changed? Well, the reason that we're doing that is because sometimes the object that we're working with or the whole of something changes. So in previous lessons, our flat was a whole. Um, one of our other fraction lessons, the fraction circle was a whole. So we're kind of evolving and getting better at determining fractions and decimals using different holes. So our hole for this lesson is our meter. And at the bottom of the screen, I have a part of a meter stick. I can't get a whole meter stick to fit here, so we can see the most important part anyway. And you might be wondering, why do I have a rod above our meter stick? Well, the reason I have the rod there is I want you to see that if we turn that rod sideways the way that I have it lined up and line it up on our meter stick where our first graduation mark is to the left of the one there, so it's right here on this edge, the first graduation mark. And then I don't have it totally lined up because it's hard to do with a picture, but where it lines up on a real meter stick is the 10 mark. So what does that mean exactly? Well, each of your cubes here in your rod actually are one centimeter. Okay, I want you to remember that. So each cube is one centimeter. If we take a rod, we have basically 10 centimeters. Okay, is that starting to make sense? So if I were going to look at this particular rod, we would say that it was 10 centimeters long. Does everybody agree with that? What if I only had one cube? what would be my measurement for one cube or one centimeter cube? Oh, I just gave you the answer, didn't I? It would be one centimeter. Okay, so one centimeter equals one cube and 10 centimeters equals one long when we think about our base 10 blocks. So we're kind of coming from our base 10 blocks to our meter stick and now our meter is our hole. Now let's think about this as I just said that one cube is one centimeter, but our hole is an entire meter stick. How long is a meter? A meter is 100 centimeters equals one meter, and we're going to abbreviate that with an M. Now, if I were again looking at this rod and it is 10 centimeters, then that would be a fraction of 10 out of 100. So that basically would be 10 one hundredths. And how would we write that as a decimal? We don't have a whole number, so it would be 0 and 10 one hundredths. So, does that give you a hint as to what we're going to be doing in class? Yes, hopefully. We're going to be taking meter sticks and we're going to be using them to come up with fractions and decimals. And of course, our meter is going to be our whole. So let's do one quick example here. If I had a measurement of 33 centimeters and I need to figure out what my fraction is going to be, my meter, again, is my whole then that would be 33 out of 100 or 0 and 33 hundredths as my decimal. So in class, we will look at a meter being the whole instead of a base 10 block, just like I showed you a few minutes ago. And we're going to work with a partner to take metric measurements and change them into decimal notation. See you then.